I'm Amy and I'm a staff member here at Riley Purgatory Bluff Creek Watershed District and these are our miniature gravel bed tree nurseries. This is a project that I began in as, as a Minnesota Green Corps member. Uh, the purpose of a gravel bed tree nursery is to house tree saplings throughout the heat of summer where within the gravel their roots can grow dramatically and increase their survivability in the fall. This year we planted 125 trees here at the district that are going to be distributed to residents of the Silver Lake sub-watershed as a part of the Silver Lake Water Quality Improvement Project. And as the years go on, we hope to expand this project and continue distributing trees to residents throughout the district. As the trees grow in the gravel bed throughout the summer, their roots will grow stronger. Without soil and its nutrients, the tree spends most of its energy creating large and robust root systems. This makes it more likely for the tree to survive when it's transplanted in the fall. Hi, I'm Maya. I'm the Education and Outreach Coordinator here at the district. Um, we're really excited about these trees, especially because we're cognizant of the many varied benefits that trees have on our landscape. For example, a tree's canopy intercepts rainwater as it falls, absorbing some into its leaves and slowing down water before it hits the ground. This minimizes the impacts of quickly moving stormwater, which would otherwise contribute to pollution and erosion. Some trees' roots add beneficial nutrients to the soil, like nitrogen or phosphorus, which naturally fertilize surrounding plants. As roots grow, they release organic compounds which promote beneficial soil microbes. These microbes, such as bacteria and fungi, create a healthy environment for plants by increasing carbon and nutrient cycling in the soil. Trees also take up stormwater through their roots, which mitigates flooding as the soil has more room to hold excess water. Growing roots also break up soils and provide space for water to travel downward, filtering down through the ground and eventually recharging the groundwater supply. Trees are also important as habitat. From seedling to decaying stump, trees provide food, water, shelter, and a place to raise their young for a number of wildlife species. As part of the natural water cycle, trees release water vapor into the atmosphere from their leaves. This process is called transpiration and contributes to cooling hot temperatures in the summer, reducing heat island effect. The trees that we are growing as part of this gravel bed project will provide these important benefits for the local landscape. They will also help protect and restore clean water to nearby lakes and creeks. Here's a summary of the trees you can find growing this summer in the district's gravel beds. The red osier dogwood is a favorite of landscapers and gardeners known for its bright red stems which provide a pop of color all year round. It's a really hardy shrub. It will tolerate clay soils, wet soils, occasional drought and shade. It thrives in moist soils, which actually make it great erosion control along stream banks. The red osier dogwood is considered a large shrub, grows quickly to heights of seven to nine feet and slowly spreads outward up to 10 feet. The berries of the red osier dogwood are eaten by at least 18 species of birds. Tolerant of clay soils and drought, the staghorn sumac is a fast-growing shrub and a great choice for steep slopes. The sumac puts down runners and spreads to form colonies which turn a beautiful scarlet color in the fall. The staghorn sumac grows 15 to 25 feet tall, making it a small tree or a large shrub. The sumac uh, is also surprisingly tolerant of road salt, which makes it a really good choice along entryways and sidewalks. The river birch is a fan of wet, acidic soils and, as its name might suggest, can be found growing along the Mississippi River. Uh, this tree is a pretty adaptable tree. It will tolerate clay soils and some compaction, uh, but it would do really well in a wet, low area or a rain garden. The river birch has fewer insect and disease problems than any other birch species. A great shade-producing tree, the swamp white oak grows 50 to 60 feet tall, and its leaves turn yellow gold in the fall. It's a very durable tree, tolerant of wet soils, drought, and even road salt. It's often planted on the side of highways and right-of-ways. The swamp white oak has a two-layer root system, which actually allows it to grow in areas that are flooded in the spring, but dry in the summer. The northern red oak is a very fast-growing species. It grows more than two feet per year for the first 10 years of its life. It's considered a good street tree because of its tolerance for pollution and compacted soils. 
The northern red oak grows about 60 to 75 feet tall, provides great shade, and turns a beautiful hue of red in the fall. The trees are growing on the south side of the district office in Chanhassen. You can swing on by and take a look and see how our trees are growing. Soon there's going to be some educational signage here for you to learn more about gravel beds and the benefits of trees.